So point slope form um, is a is a form that we can write equations with when we just know like any point that's on it. Let's say this is the point two five, um, and then we had some slope. And let's say that this has a slope. Let's say it goes uh, over two and up three. So notice my slope then is three halves. So point slope form. If I have um, if I know a point on the line, this is for straight lines, and the slope, I can write it this way. It, it's y and then minus the y part of the point. So that point's 5. So y minus 5 equals the slope, 3 halves, times x minus the x part of the point. And this, if I graph this, would give me that straight line. And just to, uh, just to do another example like that, let's say this is the point... Uh, 6, negative 2, and this has a slope. Let's just have it go over 1, up 3. So we know that our slope is change in y over change in x is 3. So this would be y minus the y part, right? So minus negative 2, which is plus 2, equals 3 times x minus the x part, x minus 6. In general, uh, what we write is if we have a point, and we'll just say x sub 1, y sub 1, that just means the first x and the second, uh, and the first y in the same point, and some slope. We could say y minus the y part equals the slope times x minus the x part. This actually comes straight from the definition of slope. Like, if I... Slope is... Uh, change in y over change in x. And change in y is subtracting the y's. And change in x is subtracting the x's. And notice that like this x minus x sub 1, this x, if I multiply both sides by that, this divides out to a 1 and I get that. So that's my general form for it. So this actually it helps me with this idea of if I have two points, how can I write an equation of a line that goes through them? So let's do this one first. So first thing we're going to need is the slope. So I want my change in y. 8 up to 14, that's uh, plus 6. Is it? <laughs> I think it is. 12, 13, 14. Yep. And then uh, that's my change in y. And my change in x, 1 up to 3 would be 2. So slope is change in y over change in x. 6 over 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So my slope's 3. And then what I can do is I can grab either point. I can and just use it to write it. So like, let's say that I grab this point. I have y minus 8 equals 3 times x minus 1. Again, y minus the y part of the point, x minus the x part of the point, slope multiplied by the x's. And I, I could have written it with the other point. It's the same line. It's going to look different, but uh, y minus the y part is the slope times x minus the x part of that point. It's just the same line. And if I were to do it again with this one, I need to know the slope first. So this goes up 3, this goes over 6, right? Up 6. So my slope would be change in y over change in x. So 3 over 6, which is 1 half. And I could grab either point. I'm just going to grab this one. y minus the y part equals the slope times x minus the x part. And that's it. And I just want to like point out... This would change the slope if I were to do that, but if that had been a negative 2, right, x minus negative 2, that would be a plus 2. Um, but that would change the slope and everything on that problem.